Hello, um, welcome back. I've had recent comments saying how to edit a map or make a map in Farming Simulator, so I'm going to show you how to do that. It's going to be the original map, just a bit of editing. So first of all, what you want to do, go to the original map, and then obviously in the original map you've only got these things here something like that and then you want to add these three so you you need to edit it and just copy and paste it over that's all you need to do just make sure you got all these files and then it should work with farm simulator and then you want to open this which will bring up this obviously you, you might I've edited a little bit still but only this corner which looks really good I think so if we go over here to the original farm just so that you know how you move you just press alt and then the, the right mouse button to go forwards and to go back the left mouse button to move around or you can click both and then you move like so the scroll don't do nothing so yeah, and how you get up this if I close this how you get it up is you go window Terrain editing will bring up all your terrain editing stuff. I'll show you that later. The good top one, and then you've got all this. This is all your items, objects on the map so far. So, three star points should be here. It's going to show. Yeah, there's three star point. Okay. I'm going to click off that. Click in the air if you want to click off things. Right, so what we can do is if I click on this building, <coughs> right, the green line, when you go over it, it goes yellow, is to lift it up and down. The blue line is to lift, move it this way, that way. And the red line is to move it the other directions. The green circles twist it around. The red circle is to twist it upside down and so on. Okay. And if you don't want to do that, undo. Which I can't find. Which is here. There we are. Right. So. Now I'm going to show you how to add the object. So first of all you want to download some which you can get from alice-uk.info I'll put a link in the description if you want to find that but you go file import then go models wherever you save them so then pick whatever you want I will probably go um, bale shed and then oh, you've got a file this is the textures you want to add this to your map folder which I've already done, no I haven't sorry so I need to go to my map which is the original one models, these are all your models, so you've got objects all the objects buildings so if I want an office then because these are already installed but if you, ha if you want to add one if you show you where it is Right, so I've got all this. So if I want to add a diesel pump, let's copy this. Desktop. On that. On that original. And I want to go new folder. New models. Okay. Double click in there and then just paste it. And when I open it, as you can see, it's got diesel pump. And then wait for it to install to go on the game. And there it is. Usually it's best to get far away as it moves quicker when you're further away than when you're close, it moves slow. So, 
it's best to be gentle with it. Like if you move it too fast, you'll be underground. And where so yeah, move it slower when you're closer. And it takes time. It does take a lot of time. So see, I want it there. And then when I finish, just click on that white area on the sky. And then that box you've seen around it. That's the trigger. So when you drive here, you'll get the load up screen for refueling the, the uh, green icon. <coughs> and if I want to change that, I can click on it. And as you can see, it's all here. So different IDs for different ones. So like that's just the trigger if it loads. See, it's just a trigger. So I can just move the trigger if I want to. And then when you finish with it, just minimize it. Because if we go to the original one, <coughs> all too far. As you can see, you get the trigger first, and then you move it, and then you click on the tank. And when you click on the tank, it does both. So the way to get around this is actually move inside the trigger, like this, and then click on the tank. And then when you're out, you've got the whole thing selected. Okay. The, there is one problem with these trigger is that when you move it oh no it's not this one sorry it's one of these so if we go fertilizer the whole whole lot as you can see when you, you've got to move far back then look which I can't find it see it's miles away so when I move back when I rotate the object it does that I don't know where around that myself at the moment but I will try and find a way for you guys and I'll record it when I find out as soon as I find out so if we go over here as you can see I've gone around it to make make it look ploughed cultivated okay so what I want to do so if we can close this now, go window, terrain editing, okay? So leave these as they are, but there is code. So grass will be two, seven and five, that will be grass. And then what you need to do is click on this train forage paint mode. That, and then that'll give you grass when you left click. And then if we want barley, three, five, seven, that will give you barley, wheat 157, that will give you wheat, corn 1357, that will give you corn, and then obviously I've got a thing installed that keeps the corn in rows, so wraps is 1257, 1257, uh, mode grass is two and nine. Two and nine. High grass is two five six seven. I'll show you the difference. This is high grass. And then normal grass. Oh, I'll show you that. There's normal grass is over here, so you can see the difference. I don't think you can mow high grass, but you can mow normal grass. And then, okay, where are we? Fully grown wheat is 157. Obviously, you can see the difference between that. Um, hay is 2 and 11, so. gives you hay. Uh, wheat swaft is 11011. Ah, 11. Okay. 
and then barley swaft is three ten eleven. So that's all the seeding channels. That's what you'll need. Basically, what these are is colouring in the terrain. So basically, that's what it is. But you'll need this, like terrain detail texture paint mod mode. Click on that, and then if you want grass, it'll change it to grass. Where if you've got wheat, it'll change it to wheat. Like this is beach sand here. Now, well, let me color it in. Oh, you want to let me color it in? Gravel. Ah, sorry, it was gravel. And asphalt. I want to colour it in there. Sometimes you don't let you colour it in places. That's asphalt. So let's colour this back in. Okay, and the way that you get rid of these is if you click on the, the tree and then you right click, it'll get rid of all of them for you. Okay, so if I quickly get rid of all of these, it does take time usually to fill in it like square so it looks all nice and neat oh but yeah okay then okay and then the height mods height is these ones which is terrain scapsule mod and that's what these these are for so the left mouse button which is LMB is add middle mouse button which is smooth which is the scroll that you press that in right mouse button is sub so subtract okay so if I show you that so if I press the left mouse button it adds right mouse button it gets rid of and then if we go over here I'll show you what smooth does so if we add two and then we press the middle mouse button it smooths out yes and then that will give you bumps if you smooth it out as long as it's not too high like if you add loads and then try smoothing it out that will be too high as you can see so you probably want to get down to its length and then smooth it out to see how how tall it is and then like it will be good then like that's a, still a bit too high most probably unless you want it really hilly and bumpy because this, this map is kind of sometimes flat in some places so what else can I show you? Um, animation I've not touched. Um, <coughs> that is it, I would say. Oh, and to add import i3d file, you can also click there. And then this yellow thing in the sky here is your sun. So I would not remove that because if you do. Close this now. If you do remove this, you will not get any light at all. It will be dark. I can move it about. But if I delete, as you can see, it all goes dark. So we need to undo that really. Bring it back. There we are. Alright, thank you for watching. If you want any more tutorials, please let me know. I will make some more. And just tell me what you want to know. Right, thank and you guys for watching. Bye. Please remember, rate, comment, and subscribe. Bye.